Good morning and welcome to Grain TV for June 4th, 2012. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Shimano. We saw a slight rally in the grains in the overnight market, some positive news out of China. Yeah, Brock, well, China was back in the soybean market purchasing beans for 2012-2013 delivery. They purchased around 165,000 metric tons here today. Uh, you know, and that's really going to be good for the bean market. That certainly helped the grains in general. There were a lot of concerns about Chinese demand last week in the trade. You know, people uh, saw China selling soybeans out of their state reserves, and we saw the market uh, really pull back as a result. So this was certainly supportive here in the overnight, but it definitely seems, especially for corn and wheat, that uh, weather's on the forefront of everyone's minds. Weather is on the forefront of everyone's mind for corn and wheat. Across the Midwest we didn't see much by way of beneficial rain uh, that we were expecting over the weekend. Right. Not much more over an inch for most areas. Um, and looking over the next six to ten days, look at this map from our friends at Planalytics, you can see that we are going to be below average, about 30-40% below average for, for precipitation over the next week, week and a half. Right. So that's certainly going to put a, a bit of a bid underneath the, the corn and wheat market right now. But something to keep in mind is that the temperatures aren't going to be too outrageously hot over the next six to ten days as well. All right, certainly. Well, as we see new weather developments uh, here come across the news wires, we'll certainly be tweeting about us at Grain TV is where you can find us. Uh, we got the markets open here. Let's hop into the Fire Tip platform right now and see how the trade's doing here in the early going. We're looking at corn for July delivery up 13. New crop corn's up nine and three quarters. We actually see old crop beans down two and three quarters of a cent. Uh, new crop beans up four and a half here. We got wheat up 12 on old crop. Uh, Kansas City wheat up 13 and a half. And you know, one thing kind of interesting to note is that we do see the dollar index pulling back here today, trading around 82.69 for June delivery. And uh, if we want to hop over here to a daily candlestick chart on this uh, dollar index, you can see that we've really pulled back a little bit from a big rally that we had starting around in April. Uh, and you can see, you know, really as the Eurozone continued to deteriorate, strength went into the dollar. You know, we really see the dollar is still a safe haven asset out there, and we really see people putting money into the dollar. But as a result, it was kind of a one sided trade here. So uh, we kind of printed this large candlestick right here uh, on Friday. You know, we really uh, traded a large range and we actually closed lower. Today it looks like we've opened up and we're moving a little bit lower here. So this dollar index is going to need uh, more bad news out of Europe to move higher. But, uh, you know, certainly with a little bit of a pullback, that's going to help the grains here as it pertains to uh, export sales. Certainly a weaker dollar is better for U.S. export sales. You know, that's kind of what's going on in the grain market here today on Monday morning. Thanks a lot for joining us on Grain TV. Have a great rest of your day.